Hi friends, I welcome you all back to another useful video brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this weekly edition, we are going to look into a newly introduced Power App Tip where we can see how we are able to implement AI models inside your Power Apps using AI Builder. AI Builder enables users to implement AI based models within your Power Apps without knowing much about the coding part. So it's a no code AI based solution which is provided by the Power Platform. So in this case, we will look at two scenarios. One based on a pre-built AI model and the second one based on a customized AI model. So depending on the scenarios, you might use a pre-built model and in some cases, if you want to have your own customization, you can first create an AI model to bring in your customization and later use it in one or more of your power platform, be it power apps or a power automate flow. So in this video, we are going to look into uh, power apps based applications. The first application we will be making use of a pre-built AI model for doing some sentimental analysis and in the second case, we will be building an AI model for doing extraction of texts and using that to apply to one of our apps to extract useful text parts from within a description field. So let's go straight into the demo and look at how we can implement these two scenarios. So in this first part of the demo, we are going to see how we are going to use a pre-built AI model inside Power Apps so as to get the sentiments data derived based on a user feedback. And on a further video, which is coming up in the next week, we'll see how we can use a customized AI model so as to extract text from a user inputted column to identify key elements within our database. For the first scenario, we are going to consider some travel feedback data, which is provided by the different people who opted for the particular travel package. So let's see how we can make use of a AI model based on sentiment and analysis to be applied on this feedback so as to get the customer sentiment data generated based on the feedback that they gave. So for this purpose, we are going to first go to the Power Apps. So let's go to the Power Apps and we are going to create a table inside a Dataverse. So I have uh, created a local Dataverse table which is going to hold this data. So we are going to name that table like uh, table uh, as travel feedback. So let's go to the travel feedback table and I have created some uh, attributes inside the table which is going to store this data which is coming from the travel feedback given by the different users. So we have uh, the feedback which is the actual feedback that is given by the users. Then we have the trip ID which indicates what trip they were a part of. These were the two main data entities which are created inside the feedback. So this is the data that comes through the sheet which we saw earlier. In addition to that, we are going to create one more column which is an optional field. We create it as an optional field but the value will be generated automatically based on the feedback given by the users and that is called customer sentiment. So we store the customer sentiment based on the data that you users give inside the feedback. So now we don't have any data inside this table. This is a perfectly blank table so we are going to put some data into it. For that purpose, you would require using data, get data option. So click on data, get data option, click on get data and you will be provided with the data flow screen for the Power Apps. So here we are going to get it from an Excel sheet. So we need to select Excel and here because the Excel sheet is in my local machine, I would require running a data gateway. So I have one gateway installed within my machine. I'm going to sign into that uh, gateway using my username and password. The gateway is now connected. So now we can go back and uh, enter the details for our Excel sheet. So we need to first put the full Excel path. So I've stored the Excel path inside uh, data. So I'll be using this path to pass it. So it's inside e drive. So I'll copy this path and paste it here and then append the name of the file to that. So the name of the file is travel feedback. It's an Excel file, Excel XX. So we have entered the full file name and uh, we need to create a new connection. So you can create a new connection and it will automatically take the data gateway which is running on my machine and you can pass in your, your Windows username and the password which is uh, your machine name slash your name 
and then the password so i already created the connection so i'll be using that connection here and clicking on next so it will connect to the file which is inside my local machine using the gateway connection so you can see the data from the file now click on next and just map it to the corresponding columns within your table wait for the power query window to load with the corresponding transformation it will be automatically done by the data flow and finally because you don't want to do any kind of transformations you can click on next and you will be given option to load to an existing table you need to select an existing table here and you need to select the table as travel feedback so here is your table travel feedback and you can now map your fields so customer sentiment will be left alone because we are going to map it later using the ai model and feedback will be mapped to feedback and trip will be mapped to trip name id also will not be filling anything here so click on next and publish it so as to populate the data so once you publish it it will have all the data which is present inside your feed so now once you have uploaded this data to the table the next step would be to create an app using this so let's see how we can create an app using this wait for the data to be loaded first so the data is now loaded now it's time for us to create an app on top of this data let's first go to the so we already have the database now let's go to the app plus create or we can go to apps so i'm going to directly go to the create option either of the options you can use and we are going to start with the data so let's start use the start from data option and we are going to connect to the database and you need to now map to the table which you have created now with the data so automatically it will show you the connection of your default database instance which is associated to your power apps account and from within this you have to find out the travel feedback so you can search for travel feedbacks you will get the table name and then click on connect this will connect to the table name and you will automatically create an app based on the data from your table but you will have to do some tweaks inside that so as to add the additional columns which you have added so by default it includes only the id and the name field which is automatically created by the power app so if you see this most of this will not make any sense to you because this is these are the automatic ids which are generated by the database itself now you need to add your custom fields inside that so for that purpose what you need to do is that you can go to the browse gallery first inside that you have the edit option click on edit option and for the title you can name it to your trip id so that it can be easily understood so you will change it to trip id and uh, for the body part you can make it your feedback and for the subtitle keep it as the creator on itself so once you have set all these things similarly you can do the same for your detail screen as well go to the detail form click on edit fields and here you don't need these two fields instead you would require the feedback and the trip id fields so make sure you select the trip id and then the feedback fields. these are the two fields that you would require whatever fields are already there you can remove that this is not required because these are the internal fields which is of little interest to the actual users and then finally go to the edit screen also again go to the form click on edit fields again do the same thing so remove the existing ones and add the actual ones which is the trip id and the feedback first trip id then feedback. and here you have to also include customer sentiment this is where you are going to capture the customer sentiment of the your customer based on the feedback that they are going to enter so you will include this and click on add but the only thing is that you are not going to show this to the users because this is going to be internally captured within the system based on the ai model which you are going to use from ai builder so you will be setting the visibility to false at a later point of time before that you need to set the value for this customer sentiment and this value would be the sentiment value based on the feedback that they are going to enter so for that purpose now you would require connecting to your ai builder so for that purpose you can go to the connections and here currently it is only connected to the database table as you know and you need to click on add data and you have this ai models present here it will show you all the details of the ai models so what you can do is like click on ai models and then you can ask it to load all the models and inside that you will be able to see the sentimental analysis so here is sentimental analysis select sentimental analysis automatically sentimental analysis ai function will be added to your app once that is added now we can make use of the functions which are available inside sentimental analysis within your application so now you have this feedback now what you are going to do is like for the customer sentiment you can go to the advanced properties and there you need to first unlock it and there are two properties where you need to set the value so the first property is the default property second one is the update property so for the, this default property what you need to do is that you need to set it to the sentimental analysis so when you, when you start typing sentimental analysis you can see that sentimental analysis comes in the intel sense and you can see the functions inside that there is only a single function called predict and it includes two arguments first is the in a language here the language is english so the code for english is en and then followed by the text so this text is the actual text for which you need to get the sentiment and here the text comes from feedback 
so if you if you uh, go to this feedback and if you select this you can find that this corresponds to data card value 8 so this is from where you need to pick up the value so what you need to do is like go inside customer sentiment go to advanced property and inside the predict function for the second parameter you need to pass data card value 8 so data card value 8 dot text this will give you the value that is inputted for the feedback so now you have passed the predict function and now what will the predict function return it will return a json response from the json response you have to pick up the sentiment so you need to click on dot and then you'll get the result inside the result you'll have different parts of which you need to pick up only the sentiment so once you set it to this automatically the sentiment will be assigned to this particular control the same thing you can copy and paste it into the update as well so now we have set the customer sentiment value as well see as you see it's automatically calculating the customer sentiment now based on what it is so it was an average fair it was not up to standard so it automatically calculated as negative so now we can make it invisible because it is not going to be shown to the user instead we'll be saving it in the database and then we'll be using it for showing an icon in your display gallery so what you can do is like once you have done that now you'll be getting the value automatically saved in the table now what you can do is like you can go back to the preview go to the browse gallery so inside browse gallery now let's add three icons one for emoji smile another one for emoji frown and the third one for emoji neutral so we have added the three icons so one is emoji neutral another one is emoji frown and the third one is emoji smile so we can rename it first so as to identify each one of them so this is emoji smile so we are going to name it smile this is emoji frown so we are going to name it as frown and the third one is neutral so we have the three emojis now what we are going to do is like we are going to change the visibility property of each so let's go to the visibility property the visible property and we are going to set it as we will first look at the this item so that means the item to which that gallery is now pointing and we look at the customer sentiment value of that so if the customer sentiment value is neutral then we will make it the visibility as true else we will set it as false so that it will be shown only when it's a neutral result let's do the same thing for frown and also for the smile so only difference is that in that condition instead of neutral here we will use negative and in the case of smile we will use positive so it's all done now let's now try running the application so you can see all your feedbacks as of now nothing is showing for these icons this is because we have not yet saved the sentiments we will only save it when it's once you edit the records because the records have already been saved in your table without any sentiments information so let's update one of them say 54 and we are going to just click on edit and we are just going to save it now if you go back and check the 54 it will have automatically created the sentiment so if you see the uh, the feedback says general experience was good have few things which might require a bit of improvement so based on that it might have calculated a positive or a negative sentiment so let's see what is the sentiment so if you see the sentiment is positive you can see only the sentiment being saved for 54 so that's that means it's a positive sentiment so like that whichever you are you are updating automatically those sentiments will be picked now save it and you can see it's a frown because it was not up to standards so this is automatically calculated by the ai pre-built ai model which does the sentimental analysis and it also gives you a confidence score if you want i have shown only the sentiment part if you want you can also check the confidence score and if the score is above a particular point you can accept it as the sentiments or if you want to neglect it you can do that so those kind of uh, logics can be written inside the same expressions here i am showing the simplest one i am just directly showing the whatever sentiment that it returns as it is similarly if you go to any other value say 337 and again edit on it and save on it automatically 337 will get the corresponding sentiment so see 337 is also happy I had a good time exploring so depending on the feedback the AI algorithm will be applied on top of it to do the sentiment analysis and from that feedback automatically the sentiment will be captured. Now let's see what happens when we insert a new entry. So instead of updating the existing entries, I am going to insert a new entry. I am going to just make the triple ID as 5555 just for identification and telling like I had a neutral experience. So I'm just typing a feedback and now I'm saving it. So when you add a new entry also, automatically the feedback will get analyzed by the AI model and automatically the corresponding icon will be shown, showing the sentiment of the customers. So if you now go to the latest one. So now if you see that, 
let's go inside and I'm going to save it and you can see that it's a neutral because I'm telling I had a neutral experience so it calculated the sentiment based on that and the sentiment was returned as neutral and it showed a neutral line so even for the newly inserted items it will automatically calculate the sentiment based on the feedback that you enter and automatically it will show the corresponding icon so this is an example of how you can use a pre-built ai model inside your power apps so as to calculate the sentiments based on a field so in this case we had the feedback field where the user types in their feedback we applied the sentiment analysis so as to get the sentiment hope this quick video helped you to understand how we can make use of a pre-built ai model inside your power apps so as to derive the data based on some user input so in this example we saw how we can apply the sentiment and analysis pre-built ai function which can be used for predicting the sentiment based on a user data now in the next part of this series we can see how we can build a ai model using our customized logic and how we can utilize that inside our power apps so as to derive data based on user inputs by applying our new ai model so for the, for the next part we'll be taking the scenario where we are going to extract some key elements from a user input text so as to identify some key elements and save it within our database as usual keep sending your feedback hope this quick video help you to understand the basics of how the ai model can be applied and this comes very handy to the citizen type of users without any kind of coding involved as usual keep sending your feedback and comments feel free to follow my channel for getting useful tips like this and click on the bell icon to get notifications see you all next week till then Bye and have a nice